The 2013 shipping season opened this week on the Great Lakes with enormous freighters on the water once again. But this year the industry is awash in uncertainty. The persistent drought has produced some of the lowest levels ever recorded in Lake Michigan and Lake Huron. And as a consequence, the big ships which carry iron ore to mills around the lakes are now being forced to lighten their loads or risk running aground. And it's 40 years old, did 40 you say? Years old. Glenn Neckvasil is with the trade group that represents shippers. Now when she came down with her cargo here, the last cargo in January, she was at the 25 mark. Uh -huh. If she had been loaded to her full marks, she would have been up just an inch short of 28 feet. Last month, we went aboard the Stuart J. Court in the port of Milwaukee. As long as an aircraft carrier, the ship can carry 65,000 tons of ore. When this uh, ship loaded its last cargo of the season, it had only uh, 55,000 tons on board. If you're 10,000 tons short, what does that mean? That means a steel mill didn't make about 6,700 tons of steel, and that could have been turned into 8,400 cars. And you have to remember, that's on just one trip. These ships will make 45 to 50 trips during a season. Precipitation in February and March over the Michigan and Huron Basin has been close to average, and the levels are now about two inches higher than they were in January when the record lows were reached. But that's still about 26 inches, more than two feet lower than where the lakes usually are. And the mild winter temperatures didn't help. There was little ice cover over the water this year, allowing evaporation to drain even more moisture from the lakes. So while Friday was nice and sunny and made the lakes just glisten, there are a lot of people who would prefer a slate gray overcast and plenty more rain. Dean Reynolds, CBS News, Chicago.